ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another book review. As you can see, I'm reviewing All Hallows by Christopher Golden. First, I want to thank all my returning subscribers and viewers and to my new subscribers and viewers. Guys, hit that like button. Comment below if you've read this book, what you thought of it. Share the video so other people can find, find out about this book. So, this book came out in 2023, I believe in December, right after Halloween is what I thought I read. It missed the mark on that one, but this book covers beautiful. You should see it. There's a glare. So the book takes place entirely on ha I would say 99.8% of the book takes place on Halloween. It is it's set in the 80s, but it does not deter from that. The 80s settings, I barely blipped in my mind. So the book is about a family who have a haunted woods behind their home every Halloween to raise money for charity. It's the father and daughter's bonding time, and I think that's crazy. That. Well, unfortunately, Dad lost his job, so this will be the last year because they have to sell their house. But my mind just thought of something. If you're raising money for charity, why not try to raise some money to save your house instead that year? I guess they didn't think about it. Maybe they were too far gone. I don't know. So... They decide to go to this and keep the tradition alive and try to go as best as they can. Now you got another family in the book whose marriage, mom and dad's marriage is rocky. That's all I'm going to say about that. Well, during the book, again, it takes place entirely in Halloween. It's a complete Halloween vibe book. These kids start popping up. I believe it's four kids start popping up to individual different people. And they all say the same thing. I'm scared. I need help. The cuddly man is coming for me. I, I just need to stay here until 12 o'clock and then I'll be safe. Why none of these people think about why do you need to be with me until 12 o'clock? I don't know about y'all, but I have watched enough horror movies. And the, mm, mm, but, you know, the grown up person, the mom person, he's like, okay, yeah, let's keep the kids safe. I'm not thinking about well, who is the cunning man and what is the cunning man. It's Halloween. You don't know. People probably thought these kids were playing pranks. But they weren't. This cunning man was coming after them and these kids were scared. Like scared. And each person was like, we're going to help you. Just come on, we'll figure out the way. They were like, well, let's call the police. The kids were like, no, the police can't help us. The cunning man's coming. I'm like, Okay, and I'm reading the book, and I'm like, okay, what's going on? Who is the cunning man, and what is the cunning man? I am going to leave this review with that. This book is so good. I do not want to get any, give anything away, because if I start yapping, I'm going to give everything away. I will say this. The characters in these books, you will like. There's some that you won't like at all. There's like maybe four characters in this book. I'm like, if you was in front of me, I'd probably hook you. Or at least sneer at you. But for the rest of the book, the rest of the characters in the book, you can um, vibe with, empathize with, and know that the Halloween they had this year, they will never, ever forget. And most of the people would never believe them if they tried to tell them. That's where I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry if this review is crappy. I don't want to give anything away. But I hope everyone's having a good morning, afternoon, evening. Like I said, share this video so other people can find about All Hallows. And again, this book is a Halloween vibe. You've got to read it. Bye!